How's it going guys? Solution Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. We're going to be dedicating this video to different Gauntlet Legends in the game. I'm not sure which ones yet, we're just going to see as we go. Uh, the reason for Gauntlet Legends is because I'm... I got a few Legends that I need to play on Gauntlet Legends to get them to level 25. Primarily Caspian, uh, Rayman, and Petra. So I'm probably going to be playing those three the most. But uh, we'll see what else we do. Start out with, with Caspian, I guess. I haven't played him yet today, but that's all right. So, uh, gauntlet combos are a popular request from uh, viewers. They want me to show different gauntlet combos. And I could show you them in rank, in, uh, sorry, in training. But in training, it's, it's not quite the same as going against a real match. Because in a real match, the person is always going to try to dodge or jump or attack. In training, they pretty much stand still. I know you can change the bot to behave differently, but it'll never quite be the way a human uh, behaves. So I want to show you what I can do against humans, and then uh, we can analyze it after, I guess. Almost got him there. Oh my goodness, I didn't have a recovery? My bad. I actually accidentally killed myself there, but it's all good. I, I, I have pretty pretty confidence, pretty good confidence that we can win still. So with gauntlets, you want to start most of your uh, approaches with either a side light, a neutral, or a uh, down light. Down light is probably the best option because it stuns them. Oh my gosh, my grab cancel didn't work. We'll go up if you want to go there. So, I didn't really get any combos off on him with the gauntlets per se, but we're working on it. That's all it took was one neutral air, and he had full health, and it killed him. That's another pro move with gauntlets is abuse the neutral airs. If you do manage to hit with a uh, side light, dang, I was trying to neutral air, but I actually accidentally hit the wall. He's playing a dangerous game, and, he, and it worked. The reason I say dangerous is because unarmed off edge is, or off stage, is kind of risky, especially versus somebody who has gauntlets. All right, Taros. That was kind of a combo. I mean, I saw him do the dodge and then I went in after that. And that's the thing you have to do. GG dude, GG. I just wanna show you guys real quick. So how I won that game. So it was down to the final stocks. I was comfortable fighting him off edge, even though Axe is really good off edge, but. All right, so right there, I go back. So we're both kind of in the middle of the stage. I approach with a down light, which is a pretty decent option, although he could have punished me right here with a side light. I don't know, or he could have punished me in a lot of different ways here. I don't know why he did a spot dodge. Maybe he was trying to do a gravity cancel, but he, he dodged. As soon as I saw him dodge, I went in for the combo. And you can either start a combo with down light or side light, pretty much anything, weapon throw, side light, neutral air, throw him back down, gravity cancel, down light. That's a great move. Almost always after I do a side light, neutral air, boom, boom, I gravity cancel, down light. But sometimes you wanna, after you do that, you wanna see what they do. Wait and see if they spot dodge or dodge left or right. He dodged right, which was the best option. But then, of course, I just followed up with side air because he was too busy trying to get back onto the stage. He probably just should have went straight down instead of down and to the left. Actually, he jumped. He jumped, and that's what got him there. He Yeah. 
All right, that was, that was good. Online. Let's let's go ahead and do another one. Let's see. I'm gonna go. Uh, ha um, oh yeah, Rayman. So let's do Rayman. I'm gonna go home team colors with Rayman, I guess. Yeah. If you guys enjoy the video, please go ahead and drop a like. I really appreciate it. It's important that even though you're, if you're trying to learn gauntlets, don't like completely ignore the other weapon that you have. You know, if you have a weapon, use it. If you're trying to get better at gauntlets, you just got to use it while you while you have it. But don't be fishing for it, or else you probably lose the game. Unless you don't care, you know. Like I, I start with an axe, so I'm gonna use it. At least for now. Yeah, he got a little bit greedy there. I was in too much of uh, white health for that. That might be it. Not quite. Oh, he dodged in. Bye bye. Just gotta follow him up, wait till they use their jump or dodge, and then hit him with that neutral air, grab him, throw him. I like hanging down, hanging out down here because I have an advantage, I think, normally. Uh oh. trying to actually hold it and slide it but it just came out eh, oh well I have a feeling my next weapon is gonna be an axe it, oh no I got it how did I keep getting gauntlets Oh boy. Hold that, thank you. He should have the stock. Oh. Maybe not. That was a good back dodge that he did there. And that was the stock. Paradox! Diana's a really good legend though. Go down? You want to go down? I'll go down. <laughs> GG, dude. GG. Didn't get to do a whole lot of gauntlet strings there. I was mainly just trying to survive and do whatever I could for damage. Let's try Petra. Petra's really fun. Should I do Garnet? Garnet. I forgot I have Gold Forge colors with Petra. It kind of surprised me because I haven't really played Petra. I, I well, okay, I did do a video on Petra just like a couple days ago, but. As of like the last six months, I don't really play Petra a whole lot, but I guess recently I have been. I really want to get her to black colors. Um, I'm not sure how close I am. I'm gonna. I guess I'll look after this. Sometimes I'm trying to do a gravity cancel uh, neutral or gravity cancel downlight and I just don't get it off. But basically with gauntlets, you don't want to try to do the same thing too much because they'll start to read you. Every now and then you want to just switch it up and go for a read. Like if you hit them with a side light, wait and see where they go and then respond accordingly. I didn't expect him to be aggressive there when he's in red.
I like to go back and forth and then hit him with a neutral stick because it comes out so fast. Most people don't uh, respond in time. The thing that makes Gauntlet so good is how fast they can go up and down, vertically and down. Because of the uh, recovery, I'm always hitting it. A lot of times, just to stay on top of the opponent. Most people. Oh, that was beautiful. Most people don't like it if you're floating above them, unless they know how to counter it. You know, then obviously stop doing it. Wow. See that step back and forth just kind of messes them up a little bit if you go boop, 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 boop. It'd be like when you're playing football or something and you're like juking left and right. They don't know where you're going to go. Petra is really good though. She has not only gauntlets, but her orb is insane as well. I like Petra a lot. Not the cleanest gauntlet string, but there you go. That was a zero to death gauntlet string. Let's uh, let's rewind that and see what what exactly happened there, so you guys can learn from it. So look how fast he died here. So let's watch what happens here. It's it's a good idea. Like if you do something good and you're not really sure how you did it, go back and watch. All right. So it all started with that stun I got right here. So he's coming back. I love to slide off platforms with a downlight on almost every weapon. It depends on the weapon, but especially weapons that have downlights for combo starters. Boom, because it hits in the middle of the stage. Like, and he jumped and did a nair, but it didn't matter. Boom. Dodged in, neutral air. Threw him down, waited. He dodged up, jumped, did a neutral air. I waited to see where he would dodge after I threw him down. Almost always, after you throw him down, wait. Don't immediately attack because if you do, they'll probably escape. Wait and see. He dodged, or he jumped up or whatever, grabbed him again, and then that starts my next combo. Since he just dodged up, I knew he couldn't dodge again for a little bit, so I just went ahead and did the gravity cancel down light, dodge in, neutral air, and that, I usually, I followed it up with a down air, falling down air, but it didn't work that time. I could have just jumped away. He missed that, and that was game. Honestly, he was dead after that. So, decent little go uh, combo there. Uh, let's go back to Caspian, I guess. Let's do... Let's do Nightcap. I, I like, never do this skin. Hope you guys are enjoying your day, though. It's, it's Super Bowl Sunday here in America, so... I, I don't really like either team, but I guess I'm rooting for the Chiefs today. But I, I would be fine with either one winning. I only root for the Chiefs because they haven't won Super Bowl in 50 years. And the 49ers have won many Super Bowls, so. Oh, this guy is insane on the Qatars. Like, insane. I, I fought him earlier. He is insane. He's the type of guy that won't let you even touch the stage if he has Qatars. Like, that's how good he is. But he has honor. He has honor. I don't know. I guess he wants the... Beautiful. Oh, I was trying to get that uh, hit so I could dodge up. That was a really nice string he had there. I told you this guy's insane. Got him? Yep. We'll watch we'll watch that, because that was actually a really good move I did there. I did not expect him to do that. I did a side light and he was perfectly positioned to just dunk me. Bro, his, I told you, he is good. And Lin Fei is hard to be good with because she has such low force. 
It's hard to kill with, anyways, I should say that. Ooh, I barely got him with that. Finally, dude is almost two stocking me. Let's see if I get him with a nice gauntlet again. Probably not. Oh my. Almost. I think that's my only hope of winning at this point. It's a nice gauntlet gimp. Because he's got the cannon and he's not afraid to use it. <laughs> but I did do a couple good things on him, even though I lost. It's important to find your little successes, even if you lost the, the overall battle. I think I did something good. Here, let me fast forward it a little bit. So, that was pretty fast. Alright, so he killed me really fast that first stock. Basically gave him a free stock. That was a sick neutral air, and then so is that. And then the follow-up. So, that's what got me the free stock right back. So, let's watch that. After he did a side light, I knew he was probably gonna try to continue the combo. And in order for him to continue the combo, he'd have to be up on me. So I just did a neutral air, hoping I would grab him. And I did. Did a side light miss because he dodged completely perfectly. He side airs right back as I knew he probably would because otherwise he wouldn't even survive. He was in such a place, he just dodged away. His only option was to side air back. So I just positioned myself, jumped, caught him. It wasn't even the best jump or catch. And then, of course, he's going to fall to the right probably. I just guessed that he would, and I followed him until he died. I knew that he wouldn't be able to get out of that. I was so close. There was no way. Like, so boom. That, that was good. I think that was one of the few things that I did good that match. Let's see. I had some decent gauntlet plays here, actually. So anyways. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to end the video there, though, guys. So let me know what you thought. If you like it when I go more in-depth on the weapons and what, what I'm doing, let me know. And uh, yeah, I could I could do that for pretty much any weapon. I'm, I'm still grinding on the blacks so I can get all legends black colors. I have every legend in the top two rows black colors. I'm trying to get the third row. I need Caspian's level 19, Sidra 15, 18, 19, 20. Hmm. Linfei 21, she's pretty close. Rayman's only 18. 19, 18, 19, got 20 vector, and then 19. So I have a lot of level like 18, 19s, and 20s. It's gonna take me a while. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.